Hello everyone, this is Rocco coming at you with another full self-driving video. This is going to be our first drive of 11.4.1 and um, fortunately all I'm going to do is a quick drive to Saluda and back. You've seen this route uh, a number of times but um, this is just a basic you know, backcountry road test and um, as well as going into a small little town of Saluda. Um, it looks like we have a uh, showing uh, the rated cameras because this road is so dark that it's uh, you know we can't see out the sides of the car. Like if we bring up the camera here, you can see you can barely see behind and you can barely see the sides. And the B pillars probably you can't see those, but you know they're really occluded. Fortunately, it, the update didn't come out a few hours earlier because I had just got back from town, and then as soon as I <laughs> Got in the house, I'm like, got an update. Went well, okay. Um, also, we're going too slow, so I should probably up the speed. <laughs> um, I wish um, they would fix this. Let's see how the lights come back on. Okay, so brights are about the same, same speed. I think they should be able to come back on sooner. Um, hopefully, they continue to work on that and refine it more and more. But uh, it's good for now. What I'm most excited for, and unfortunately we're not going to test tonight, here's the highway, we're passing the highway, is um, is it going to just in continue to increase smoothness? Um, the drive I just did on 11.3 at 6, uh, it, by the way, it braked for that car right there, just a tiny hesitancy, uh, which is okay, that's fine. Um, the, as Elon said, they're focusing on safety. Um, but yeah, the drive I just did was fantastic. It was, a, it was a very simple drive, but do your disengagements, they are back. And um, I almost no interventions. I made one speed limit change and that's it on on the way back. It was really good. Um, but yeah, um, by the way, um, I want to uh, take a moment to thank the autopilot team just for the continued effort on this this massive project. Um, I don't think enough thanks goes out regularly to the team on that hard work. Uh, the amount of just technical wow um, you have to do to be able to make make this stuff work is uh, really impressive. Ooh, so clearly a big phantom break there. No, I let it do that because there was no one around me. But I'm not sure why it did that. I don't know why this is like okay. It's because I didn't tap on it. Normally, so. Normally it would do that automatically. I wouldn't have to tap on it, so I'm not sure why that is. So we're gonna see right here at this turn. Is it going to stop at you know the phantom stop sign that's not there? There's no stop sign to stop at, but tradition like it's been stopping at the stop sign for some reason. See, it says stopping for stop sign. There is no stop sign here. So hopefully they I, I there's no reason to disengage. I just override it with the accelerator. But there's no way to leave feedback. I could press the camera button. I've done that a number of times, but that doesn't seem to, uh, I guess that doesn't seem to work. There was one update that did correctly go through there without stopping for a stop sign. Limited max speed based on road type. That is new. And um, this is the correct speed uh, for this road. It's 25 mile an hour, you just saw that sign. Um, oh, oops. I wish you could just like tap here. Um, yeah, I wish you could just tap there, and um, and just in uh, get rid of the route without having to go into this menu and having to dig around. And if it's not if it's not an address you recognize, where? Why? Come on, car. Did I delete the wrong one? No, see, it, it, see, look, this is bad map data for this area. Obviously, this road doesn't exist, and so it's it can't figure out where it is because I didn't I didn't cancel the. Um... Oh, what's it doing? No. Okay, look at the map data, Tesla team, and it's not even trying to go to. The... It has it mapped wrong, so. 
yeah, look at that and figure out what's going on. Um, I'm glad this is a not busy route. I don't know what's what's going on. It's trying to go to the old route. Oh. It didn't cancel it. That's what the problem was. See, my, my exact point. I want to be able to just tap on the point and cancel it. And not have to go into that menu. That's what the problem is. So that's my fault. Because I thought I canceled it, but it didn't cancel it. So we're not, not going to count that disengagement because that that's completely my error uh, causing that problem there. Because I thought I had canceled the point, and I'm like, well, why is it still here? Um, but, oh, man, it's a person. Dogs. And they don't like my likes. Because <laughs> uh, the car has its brights on, blinding that guy. So that, that is kind of a rude aspect that I, I kept the brights on and you're going too fast car um yeah so let's see how it does at the, ooh. a little bit more assertive going through here and a full stop okay yeah so that ended up doing good so we need to go back across the highway see if it's gonna quickly route it seems to be going a lot more confident down this road here and good we're gonna take a left turn that's what we want to see so again because that was my mess up wow that um seemed to be almost not stopping for that stop sign Okay, and that was good. Well, now it's... Yeah, so this is like a weird, like a, a lot more assertiveness. I wonder if I, uh... No, I was on average. Average, just so everyone is aware, I, that's my 99% of the time I use average. Unless I'm towing, then I might use chill. But otherwise, I use average most of the time. This is the main spot that I that hasn't been great in the past. So what it does is it normally launches out. And this is the most likely spot we're going to get a disengagement. Yeah, see, it. Okay, I'm since there's no one here, I'm going to turn the camera. Take. Oh, you can't really see, can you? Um. Okay, that's better. See that bridge right there? I, I'm not sure the car can see over that bridge and know if there's a car coming. It was just going to launch out. Like, that's the thing. It was just going to launch out in the road without checking. And I forgot to leave feedback. Um, so, sorry about that. Um, so, that was definitely disengagement, and that was a downgrade from the previous version. I mean, that would definitely. Um, it stopped further back in that stop sign and just decided, I'm not going to check to the right to see if there's a car coming, and we're just going to launch out. So, I'm going to count that as a disengagement for sure. Um, it just, it shouldn't be doing that. But oh, more than likely, we're not going to get a disengagement the, the whole way. If we're just going based on disengagements, this route was worse on 11.4.1. However, that's no longer really what we should be looking for all the time. It's like overall smoothness, assertiveness, and everything. I, I can't say there's a few things that have been better so far on this version and a few new things uh, we'll po kind of point out uh, I'll and the um, chapters you'll see the chapters below the video just click around for the different spots so you can repeat different areas uh, all my videos have those chapters so if you want to just go through the channel you can just click click around especially on mobile it's really nice you can just tap on it and um, it'll just go spot to spot for each chapter it's really nice to be able to quickly just jump around. If you want to quickly go through the video, totally fine. If you want to listen to me about blab on, I appreciate it for doing that too. Um, so normally I thought it would speed up by now. Now here's the speed up portion. Right before it got to the sign, it went to speed up. So, interesting. So, okay, that... One thing I've noticed in this version for sure is that when it gets to an intersection like that, is that it just it commits sooner. As you can tell, it's committing. Like it just it almost accelerates through the turn. It's just like I'm going. Like it, there's no like oh, maybe I'll go, maybe I won't. Like no, it, it's going. 
so it's much more easy to tell, um, which is, for some people will be a bad thing. Um, for some people, that's a good thing. For me, it just depends on the situation. Um, for that, like, there's no reason for it. There, there's no oncoming car. There's no one behind me is to get out of the way. Uh, so I don't, I really didn't see the need to just, you know, quickly jut out because there wasn't an oncoming car or anything. It's not like I had to quickly get across, make sure I wasn't going to get in the way of someone else. Uh, it should just be a continuous, smooth turn if there's no one there. I, I just don't see a need for it to do that. But, of course, this is a preliminary test. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get out tomorrow, everyone. Uh, I appreciate everyone that is watching right now. If you want to see more of my videos, I would appreciate you hitting the subscribe button, hitting the like. Appreciate any feedback you have for me. This truck right here. See, that was dark for me. I'm like, eh, is that in my side of the road? I, I couldn't really tell. But yeah, I appreciate everyone watching. This is basically going to be the end of this video. There was a police car right there. The speed limit is 45, thankfully, in this road. They're, I guess they're out watching tonight. Thirsty Thursday, I guess, for a lot of people. But yeah, this is going to be the end of this video, everyone. This is basically... I, I mean, a couple areas obviously downgraded a couple areas I think are improved you will see that in the chapters as I have time to think about it a little bit as I'm editing the video um, but as always appreciate you watching I will be out on Saturday making more videos subscribe for that and I'll see you in the next one thanks everyone bye